Welcome to Fave World Educational Hub. Myself, Ashwarya Saxena, and in this video, I am going to talk about that how you can insert the records into the database using the Python code. So in the playlist of Python programming, you can see already 85 videos are there. And uh, simply, if you have not watched it, you can watch this playlist. It is going to help you out a lot. Right now, we are working on the Python with MySQL database connectivity and a few programs I have already told into it. Three programs we have worked on and the fourth program I am going to create right now. So if you are new to this channel, subscribe it and press the notification bell because then only you will be able to get the notifications of my latest uploads. Here in this video, I am going to talk about it, how you can insert records into database using Python scripts. Okay, so I'm just importing MySQL dot connector. We have already installed the MySQL connector and the procedure is in the previous video. So please watch them. And MyDB, I'm taking a variable and here I'm taking MySQL dot connector dot connect. Here I'm taking, like you can write it like this also. Host equals to localhost. Then user equals to root like these are the default things i have not made any changes into these values i don't have any password so i'm just taking it empty you can type your password if you have created any then the database i am using db2 right now so i'm taking db2 here okay so this all is here you can write it in one line also that is not going to make any change then cursor is required to be used to execute the query so i'm taking here my um db dot cursor now here i'm taking the query in the string i'm just taking a s here a variable and here i'm taking the query insert into book is the name of our table insert into book and uh, like we are having there the fields book id title and price let me show you this thing and uh, i'm just showing it on the mysql here you can see in the table db2 as you can see we are using db2 here we are having the table book in the book table description of book table field type and all field is book id you have to take it in the same manner like i capital so it should be capital title and price all in small the same we have written here oh, oh. okay so here this is now after this i have to insert the values into it so i'm taking here values now, uh, like this double quotes should not be close here. Okay. Values. And the values which you want to give, you are going to give it in the string manner. So I'm taking here. These, there are multiple ways to input the values. So I will be telling all of them in different videos. So don't worry. This is the first way that how I'm giving the insertion. So suppose I'm taking the ID 1 or 101, whatever you want to take. And the name of the book I am taking Python programming. Let's say Python programming I have taken here. Then here the price you can take whatever you feel like. I am taking this. And uh, now I am taking cursor dot execute. So here I am passing S and B1 both. Because B1 is holding the values and S is the query of insert. Then you have to go for commit command. Without that commit it would be commit. It won't be running. So you have to simply run this file. I'm just running this file, but it will be not giving us any output. It will be just giving us process finished with exit code zero. That means it's run. We have run this, but the output you will be getting on the MySQL. I'm just coming towards the MySQL client. And if you have I, no idea that how it is working, so please watch the previous videos because there I have given the complete demonstration in individual videos of the installation, the connector and everything. So I'm opening the MySQL right away. First of all, here you can see our MySQL is here and I don't have any password as I told. So I'm just pressing enter. And now after pressing enter, we shall simply work on the like stuff, what we need to do. So I'm simply going to show you the databases first of all. Although it's not required right now, but yes, I'm just showing it for making the confirmations. Then use TB2 because we are using the database too and it has been changed now. So show tables. This is here and describe 
describe book so here you can see the fields are there but we have not yet got the values here that what are the values inside this table so here i'm taking select asterisk from book so this will be giving the value so you can see one value is present here i can insert more into it you can see right now one value is present i can insert more into it with the help of this code only so i'm just taking here two and i'm taking here another book java programming let's say java programming and i'm changing the price also okay so let's run it and there it will be giving us exit code zero that's absolutely correct and now i am going to show it on the mysql if we just select from book so you can see now we are getting the 102 also which was not present previously so this way you can insert whatever records you want to insert into your database there are many more ways for it so please don't worry i will be telling all of them in different videos so stay tuned i'm just uh, inserting some more records into it let's run it and here you can see the third record has also been inserted so our program is working efficiently and we have successfully created it uh, the insertion query so we will be seeing more into it as i said like different ways of uh, inserting inserting multiple records into the database i will be discussing in the next video so stay tuned subscribe the channel and press the notification bell see you in the next video with a new topic